Okay, to finish your book cover, I have my artwork done. My corners are marked off that it's a little bit, about a quarter of an inch distance from the corner of my book board to those edges. I want to make sure that I'm going to cut these off. I just don't want to cut them too close to my book board because I'm going to be gluing and covering my board. So here, I'm going to cut. They can be straight or curved, doesn't really matter. Okay, so notice now, just showing from the front at least, if I were to cover this, there's about of an inch border around, and it would be the same with fabric for your embroidery. Now I'm gonna flip this to the back. This is the back of my art, and we have glue from earlier in the year when we did the silk screening. My glue was a little bit thick because it was starting to dry out a little bit, so I added just a little bit of water. Um, here's an old uh, hardware brush. You can kind of see it's it's not um, so super thick. It's a little bit drippy. I don't know if you can see in the video. Anyway, um, if you don't have a bigger brush like this, I found, and actually what I'm going to use for my demo, this is a paper towel that I wet and wrung it out so it's a damp paper towel. I'm just going to roll it into sort of a ball around my finger like this and dip this into the glue like that and uh, wipe this from the middle out. And I say from the middle out because I want to make sure, notice there's like a little bit of glue on the outside of my newspaper. First of all, by the way, make sure you put some newspaper or some kind of scrap paper down because you do not want to get glue on this your work surface. But to do this properly, you want to make sure that your glue is all the way to the edge of your paper, which would require you to get glue on the paper outside of your cover. Now, my glue is drying super fast, so I might have to reapply when I get this done. So now I'm done with this for the moment. Um, because I have my newspaper opened up, what I can do is carefully lift my art I'm going to close this newspaper. So now I have dry newspaper. Uh, so this way, when I place it back down, I'm not getting glue on the front cover that was on the outside of my newspaper. I'm going to take my book board, and it doesn't really matter which side. Um, I'll do this side and place that on there. Now, in your art kit, there should be a popsicle stick, which I can't seem to find. So I'm just going to use... Um, the back of my nail, my thumbnail, and I'm going to burnish this edge. You want to get a really nice tight burnish before you lay this flat so that you know the edge of that book board is tightly covered and you're not accidentally folding this off. So I'm going to use the back of my nail or, um, I don't know what happens to my popsicle stick. I'll use a ruler too just to show you. I can use a ruler. That's just burnishing, that's rubbing it to make sure it's a really nice tight seal. And notice I keep rotating because I'm right-handed. I always want to burnish on the right side. So I don't want to burnish, on, you know, crossing my arms. So I'm going to burnish on the right side here as I'm pulling this paper down and gluing it nice and tight and flipping it over, rotating I should say, and tucking these quarters. Notice my corners, they're not all bunched up because I cut all that excess paper off. So I'm going to burnish that with the back of my fingernail and press that down. So now when I flip this over, this is the front of my book cover. I'm going to carefully close it. I know sometimes this paper will rip if it's really tight while, it, the, um, while the glue is still wet. So just very carefully uh, fold it closed. So there's my book cover. I'm going to do a little bit of burnishing here. Um, and now my cover is done. However, I need to glue my sketchbook in there. So the next step is to take, I'm actually going to take some of this newspaper and rip it in half because this is all nice and dry. So here's my sketchbook and this is the inside front. This is the way. So this would be the front of my sketchbook. So I'm going to actually label that. This is the front. And I'm going to lift open my cover. You should have two covers. I don't know why I only have one. Um, lift it open between the two covers and place some newspaper in between your first cover and second inside cover. And do that on both sides. Okay. So now, actually, I'm going to do this differently. I'm sorry. 
let me flatten this. I'm gonna open this up, this is the front. I'm gonna lift this back and put my newspaper there. Only the front cover, you should have a second inside cover. So lift that, put newspaper there. What this newspaper is doing is it's protecting my sketchbook pages from getting glue on it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing I did with my cover art. I'm gonna dip this into the glue and cover all of this with glue. Again, from the inside out, making sure I get the edges of my sketchbook glued because you don't want this to peel up. And you don't want this glue to be too globby thick. The reason I'm using this damp paper towel is so that I do get a nice, smooth, even coat. Okay, you can see it's all shiny. Now I can remove these newspapers and throw these away because these have glue on them. I don't want to get this on my book. And knowing this is the front and this is the front, I can lay this on top. But to get this to really fit, I'll pick this up and sort of, I'm just going to turn it this way, face it. I'm pushing the sketchbook in towards the gutter of my cover. Once I feel like it's pretty much in there and aligned, I'm going to close this carefully. And now I'm going to peel open this and give this a little bit of a burnishing just with my finger, really gently. Just hoping that my sketchbook is glued in there nice and straight and then go to the back cover and burnish that. And then you are done. You let the glue dry. Uh, photograph your sketchbook standing up. It would be standing up like this uh, in the picture. If you look at the picture above me, stand it up and then take a picture from the side view so that I can see your artwork. I can see it's covered on your book board. Photograph it, turn it in, uh, and you are done. Congratulations.